Hi guys, welcome to another episode of the Armourer's Bench. Today we're going to take a look at a unique Sterling submachine gun prototype. The gun is actually a Mark II Patchett machine carbine, better known later as the Sterling. This gun has been specially adapted with a shotgun style rib sight to help aiming in jungle conditions. Before the Sterling was adopted by the British Army, it went through nearly a decade of testing, evaluation and refinement. It was tested by troops all over the world, from West Germany to Africa, from the Middle East to Malaya. It was in Malaya that our specially adapted but short-lived prototype emerged. As early as December 1952, British troops were testing the gun during operations against communist insurgents in Malaya. The harsh jungle conditions were a challenge for any weapon, but early testing noted that the weapon performed well. One issue that was identified, however, was that the rear sight aperture was found to be slightly too small, and the report suggested that the aperture be widened to 0.098 inches, or 2.5 millimetres, which is roughly the same as the aperture sight on the Owen gun. The report also noted that the front sight did not stand out well in relation to the front sight protectors, basically meaning the sights were difficult to pick up when the soldier brought the gun up to aim. It seems that when a batch of 75 trials guns arrived in 1953, a number of them were specially adapted in theatre. Here we can see the shotgun style sight rib that has been fitted to the weapon. It was hoped that the rib sight fitted along the length of the receiver would aid snap shooting in the jungle. It was intended to enable users to engage fleeting targets quicker and improve the probability of hitting a target in thick jungle or heavy rainstorms. During operations in Malaya and Borneo, many scouts and point men carried shotguns, including pump actions and semi-automatics like the Browning Auto 5. Shotguns were favoured during jungle operations because they were easy to quickly and instinctively aim, and they had exceptional close range firepower. This is where the idea came from, and the modification saw the removal of the standard front and rear sights and the fitting of a sight rib that run along the top of the gun. This extended from the muzzle all the way back to where the rear sight was originally. It appears that an armourer cut down and removed the front and rear sight assemblies and then used them as mounting points to braze on the rib. The first few inches of the rib are stippled to minimise glare and a brass front sight bead has been added to help sight acquisition. The simpler sight rib also helped with another issue that was identified during the early jungle testing. It removed the problem of mud getting clogged between the sight protectors. It's unknown just how many were adapted in theatre, but at least three are known to survive today. The jungle specific modifications however were short lived. In June 1953 a list of modifications based on trials recommendations was drawn up. One of the suggestions was the enlargement of the rear sight apertures. In August, the infantry board decided that the 100 yard aperture would be 0.15 inches or 3.8 millimeters in diameter, while the 200 yard sight would be 0.1 inches or 2.5 millimeters. The spacing of the rear sight protectors was also subsequently widened to 0.55 inches or 14 millimeters. With these changes made, the staling was adopted in 1954. It subsequently saw service in the jungles of Malaya and Borneo for over a decade during the Malayan emergency and the subsequent Indonesian confrontation. Thanks for watching guys, we'll have a full episode on the Sterling's wider history in the future. In the meantime you can check out our earlier live fire video with the Sterling and I've written a new book for Osprey's weapon series looking at the development, use and significance of the Sterling and that's out now. If you enjoy our videos guys, please consider supporting us over on Patreon, the link to that is in the description box below. As always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.